This week's deals from Miles Franklin are one ounce 2024 Eagles 550 over spot. We also have 90% constitutional silver dimes and quarters 275 over spot and 10th ounce gold eagles $51 over melt we have a massive inventory all great prices text email or call slayer at milesfranklin.com i'd be happy to help and now let's get into the video welcome back my friends thank you so much for tuning in if you want silver news brought to you on a daily basis then you've come to the right place so make sure you click subscribe i also do live streams i have a podcast with andy sheckman which is the ceo of miles franklin one of the biggest precious metals dealers in the country so that's always a lot of insight especially as he breaks down geopolitics and the BRICS nations and what's happening around the world but also giveaways I give away a lot of silver. I'm actually doing a giveaway right now. The entry video is still open. I'm gonna be jumping out of an airplane announcing the two winners. So if you want a fun place, a great community, and always getting what's happening in the world of precious metals, more specifically silver, then this channel is for you. I've been getting to know a lot of you since I am a broker, since I offer people a safe, place to purchase gold and silver with weekly specials and great prices. I've talked to a lot of you on the phone now. I've been doing this for, you know, since the beginning of 2024 and I've built a lot of friendships and I realized how incredible this community really is. You know, I'm talking to several people on the phone every single day, building relationships, friendships, and I just want to thank you all. And I really hope you guys realize that silver stackers are incredible. I think this genuinely is the best community on YouTube. Just wanted to throw that in real quick. So I hope you guys do enjoy this channel. I will shut up now. Let's talk silver. So silver approaches five year highs with more upside in store. We also have an article silver makes a big move as gold versus debt and US money supply break out. Another article why silver is outshining gold in April. And by the way, our, all of these articles have been written in the last day or so. Like this one was published today, fresh off the press. Silver price forecast, silver set to outshine gold driven by investor demand. We also have another article that just came out. India's February silver imports hit record and set to rise 66% this year. Surged 260% in February to a record high. That is very very important to take note of. Also, silver price forecast, traders eyeing psychological target at $30. We have this one, silver price forecast, surges to new highs, bulls are in control. So there's a lot happening in the world of precious metals, and I'm going to cover it all around here, folks, and that's why I say subscribe, not for my sake, for your own, because I will do all the hard work for you and hand it to you on a platter in the form of a YouTube video. So silver approaches five-year highs with more upside in store. Gold's all-time high may be getting the headlines right now, but silver is also benefiting from the precious metals rally, having just hit a five-year high against the pound. And silver's been getting a lot. I mean, CNBC has made two more articles or posted two more videos, which their channels have millions of subscribers, two more videos about silver in the last couple of days. Spot prices are currently sitting around $28 and I think 11 cents, something along those lines right now. And it, that's right now five year highs or nearing the $29 10 cent level, which is five year highs seen in early 2021 from the Wall Street silver movement. Analysts at UBS suggested silver could still be cheap though, given it's still 40% below the all time high of almost $48 which was way back in 2011, out of sync with gold's price, which means it still has a lot of room to run. Russ Mauld at AJ Bell also pointed out that gold currently trades at nearly 85 times that of silver, whereas the long-term average is near 65 to one. Quote, that may be enough to persuade some investors and traders that silver's cheap relative to gold. UBS analysts concurred, stating that more upside is in store for silver. Silver's rally can be viewed from two angles, a complete out of sync move that will reverse or that the market is in front loading lower interest rates ahead. Quote, we think it's more the latter, 
we previously argued that the market is underestimating the upside in silver prices given the potential for industrial activity to recover in the second half of 2024 amid already buoyant industrial application demand and prospects of rate cuts. So in that context, it's notable that ETF demand for silver seems to be turning the corner. Lower silver ETF holdings amid elevated opportunity costs have held the metal's price back until recently. So UBS analysts suggested that silver is a beneficiary laggard of lower interest rates from the Federal Reserve tipped for this year. They have tipped silver spot price to hit $32 an ounce within 12 months. Another reason why silver has so much potential beyond just the several points we went over in the last article is because the amount of demand. When investor demand grows on top of industrial demand, it also benefits because silver is a much smaller market than gold, much smaller. So it's affected to a more dramatic degree. It's exaggerated. It's like gold on steroids. Well, since we know that, India hit records and set to rise 66% this year with their silver imports, surged 260% in February to hit a record high. Now we have China, which is the biggest consumer of silver, but we also have other countries that are buying, importing tons of silver. What is that going to do? It's only going to push the price higher. Now, India's silver imports surged by 260% in February to a record high as lower duties encourage large purchases from UAE government and industry officials told Reuters, adding that they were on track to increase by 66% this year. Higher demand in India, the, world, the world's biggest silver consumer, could support global prices trading near their highest in three years. Okay, so now they're saying India is the biggest consumer. What's China? Well, maybe now with these numbers, it is. <laughs> so India imported a record 2,295 metric tons of silver in February up from 637 tons in January, said a government official who declined to be named as he was not authorized to talk to the media. In February, India imported 939 tons from UAE as traders bought large volumes to benefit from a lower duty, the official said. The country's silver imports surged to 2,932 tons in the first two months of 2024, compared to 3,625 tons for all of 2023, according to provisional data from the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The imports in the first two months of 2024 were much more than required and pushed Indian prices into a discount, forcing banks to nearly stop imports in March a Mumbai-based dealer with a private bullion importing bank said. Shirak Takar, CEO of Amprali Group, a leading silver importer, said the industry had replenished stocks since January and February, having depleted them in 2023. So they already depleted all of, that is insane. They depleted all of their silver within that time frame. Quote, Indian imports are cyclical in nature. In one year, imports may be very high. In the following year, they may fall. Since imports fell in 2023 after record buying in 2022, we can expect imports to pick up in 2024, Takar said. And I actually remember that. I remember in 2022, India bought boatloads of silver. But then last year, they definitely fell off. I remember experiencing this and I remember covering this, thinking it was odd that in 2023 they weren't buying when 2022 they bought so much. Maybe because they had so much left over, they didn't need to buy much more, but then they ran out, so now it makes sense. That is just insane though. India's imports could rise to 6,000 tons in 2024 from last year's 3,625 tons, driven by robust demand from the fabrication and solar industries, he said. Takar said people were also buying metal for investment purposes, believing it will provide higher returns than gold, along with religion, right? A lot of countries use gold and silver for religious purposes and practices, as well as jewelry and coins. And like it also said, solar panels, which are flooding the earth as well. So I thought that was very interesting to take note of. I'm going to go over this one as well, because this is an important one. Traders are eyeing the psychological price target at $30. What did they mean? Psychological target? Well, it's, I always refer to as this. It's like you go to Walmart, they're going to price something $19.99 and not $20.
even though there's a penny difference, seeing the number 19 makes it look much cheaper, even though it's just one penny off. Same thing works backwards for silver. If people see silver at $29.99 compared to $30, just seeing the number 30 makes it look higher. And that also means more hype comes around. Silver broke past $30. Not only is it a psychological target, it's also a resistance level it needs to break above since we hit that in early 2021 or near it. So if we broke above $30, which is already at 28, and like the other article I said earlier, it says there's more room to run, we could easily break through this. So silver rises for the third day, undeterred by upcoming Fed meeting. And that's another important thing that will affect the price. Gold's record rally boosts silver amidst geopolitical tensions. Analysts foresee gold influencing silver, and then price is expected to soar. So we have this ascending trend. Silver is maintaining its upward movement, marking its third session of gains. The market is seemingly undeterred by the anticipation of the Federal Reserve meeting and the U.S. Consumer Inflation Report. Contributing factors include softer treasury yields and a stable U.S. dollar. Silver's trend is being largely influenced by the gold market's robust rally, spurred by central bank purchases, expectations of interest rate cuts, and enduring inflation concerns. So gold's impact on silver. I'm sure, you know, we've talked about this enough, but let's just go over this quick paragraph. So gold's rally now at record high for eight consecutive sections or sessions is providing significant support to silver. This rally is underpinned by momentum driven fund buying and escalating geopolitical tensions. The strong performance of gold encouraged by various factors, including aggressive central bank purchasing and a likelihood of rate reductions is a key driver of silver's current price levels. And then when these effects, when these factors push silver's price to where it needs to go, then silver has all of the other things going for it that can push it through beyond where gold has taken it. It's like gold can carry silver so far, but eventually silver's going to take on a life of its own with all the other reasons that will also affect the price of silver, but not so much gold since it is an industrial metal beyond just a monetary metal. So market influences and technical outlook. While the market is attentive to concerns like reduced expectations for rate cuts and geopolitical risks, the primary focus remains on the upcoming U.S. inflation data and Federal Reserve policy meeting minutes. Normally, high interest rates reduce the appeal of non-yield assets like gold, yet it has shown resilience. From a technical standpoint, silver has reached an overbought state as suggested by its relative strength, strength index with efforts to stabilize above $28. This is a big, big, big paragraph that we need to break down. So first, the paragraph goes into a lot of central bank stuff. You, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell coming out with an FOMC meeting and saying X, Y, Z, that's important. But then they go into the meat and potatoes, which is if silver, if silver, can stabilize above $28 or near $28. If that's the bottom, then we are, we're witnessing something that we've never before. Before when silver went up to $28, $29 from the Wall Street silver movement, it was very fast and abrupt. They also did mention though, we are in overbought territory, meaning there has to be some slight pullback because if not, then prices won't be able to stabilize. Wait, Silver Slayer, you're meaning you're saying for it to go up higher, it has to go down? Yes. If it just goes up, 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 it's going to go down, 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 down. It needs to go down a little bit, pull back a little bit, then go up a little bit, then down a little bit, so the prices can stabilize at these levels. We've never seen silver stabilize at $28 before. It's gone up there, but it never stabilized there. That's what they're talking about. They also mention, um, Silver continues its strong breakout rally with some traders now convinced the market has its eyes on set on $30. The tone of the market's bullish, but a break under 26, 28 will change the minor trend down. The immediate and long-term support is 2403, 2351 respectively. But then the chart pattern that bullish traders should be most concerned about is the closing price reversal top. This puts the focus on $27.85 to the close today, which actually has gone above. So that's good news. Well, 
depending on how you see it. Some people say it's great news if it starts going up higher, and some people want the price to stay down so they can buy more silver for cheaper since they're not selling anytime soon. You know, so it's that weird situation where it's like people get excited when silver starts rising because it's like, yeah, we knew it. But then it's also like, wait, but that means we have to pay a higher price for it if you're not done buying it, which I'm sure most people aren't. So anyways, thought that was pretty interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to get ready because I, I have a podcast to do with Andy Schechtman, hour and 40 minutes. So stay tuned for that as well if you're watching this video as soon as this comes out. Probably post a podcast tomorrow, um, maybe tonight, depending on a couple things. But yeah, just uh, remember, folks, to subscribe and make sure you like this video. If you liked the video, make sure you comment what you think about all this and uh, make sure you uh, email me if you want to purchase gold or silver, slayer at milesfranklin.com. I will make sure you guys are taken care of. You can talk to me on the phone, do it all, and I promise you'll be in good hands. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.